Shalom, peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. A word. There's been a planetary shift, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. There are things going on all over the world. Um, but that sign and wonder, that planetary shift, the spiritual realm has come closer to this terrestrial realm. This is something that everybody's talking about. Um, but you got to understand what it means for the children of the kingdom. This planetary situation between Jupiter and Saturn and its proximity to the sun and to the earth and bringing in the so-called age of Aquarius, all of this. 397 years, 400 years. Since this has occurred, 800 years since it has occurred at night, all right? Basically, it's heralding in the end of the negativity, the end of the low vibration of unspiritual beings, beings that are not anointed, beings that thought they had power and for a time they did but that time is over, brothers and sisters. And the fact that this happened for the first time in 400 years, and it also occurred at night for the first time in 800 years, signs and wonders. The fact that it happened for the first time in 400 years, and then for the first time at night in 800 years, is a doubling down. It's a message that it is complete. It is determined. It has been decided in the realm of the Most High, in the spiritual realm. If you remember when Joseph went to Pharaoh, when Pharaoh had those two dreams, he thought they were two separate dreams. He couldn't understand the dreams. He couldn't remember them. And he sure as heck couldn't interpret them. Joseph told him, the two dreams you had are one. And the second dream was a confirmation that it has been decided, determined, it is settled. It has already happened in the eternal realm. And it is going to manifest in the physical realm, in the earthly realm. Well, 397, basically 400, and the 800 years for the first time at night. Planetary shift, spiritual shift. It has been determined in the eternal realm. The positive shift, the shift of truth, the shift of love, the shift of being able to manifest your own truth. See, the only truth is... God, the spiritual realm has breached the atmosphere because 400 years are over. People keep talking about 2020. 2020 was the gateway. 2020 was the initiation. It isn't the end of it. It's the beginning. Right now, 1212 and 111 is just flooding. Every time I turn around, 1212, 111, 1212, 111. It's, we have gone through the gateway, and there is no closing, it. there is no going back. Those low vibrating forces that have held nations in subjugation, God is cleansing the earth. He's cleansing the negativity. This is a spirit of truth, the spirit of love, the spirit of restoration, the spirit of order, the spirit of people recognizing who they are, not who somebody tells them they're supposed to be. Okay. One of the things, if you notice, the system is trying to pump fear, 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 fear. But there is no fear when you're running with the truth and with love. What is love? God is love. But you got to understand, I'm not talking about the concept that the world calls love. You know, that you love your enemy. So you better recognize 
The difference between loving your enemy as far as somebody that's your brother or sister in the faith who has done wrong and you forgive them as opposed to loving your enemy who is truly one of the wicked ones who has gone against the most high. I'm not going to love somebody who dishonors God, who dishonors man. That is wickedness. That's low vibration. That doesn't mean I have to go out here and do evil. But I'm not supporting them. Okay? The initiation of the release has already begun. And just to give you an understanding of what I mean. You got all these people suddenly, they want to apologize to the brothers and sisters here in America. You got newspapers, and I'm going to just give you an example. Um, the Kansas City newspaper, one is out of Los Angeles. The New York Post uh, put it out there that they're apologizing for their propaganda machine of always reporting against the brothers and sisters negatively overlooking the positive contributions, always either ignoring the tragedies that occur with us or not giving us our rightful due when we are doing something positive, okay? They want to apologize now because the slant was very negative and they see that there's a shifting. See, this shift in the atmosphere, the spiritual atmosphere is not accepting it anymore, okay? Um, I was watching, reading this article, which I was going to share, but like I said, I'm doing this late at night, and I guess I have to do a follow-up to put it uh, in my video or in my box somewhere where you can see it, where there was one Asian woman talking about, yes, we've always been taught anti-black. I want to apologize to the blacks in America for the way my people treated your people, I'm starting to see it now. And I'm thinking, you always saw it. You just benefited financially from it. Uh, you always knew, but you could feel the shift in the atmosphere. Well, one of the other things is you have to look that Israel was scattered all over the world, all over the world. And God said when our captivity was up, he was going to judge the nations, okay? And right now, you've got nations that China's like a swimming pool. Asia's like a swimming pool. Over there in the Middle East and Arabia, the desert is flooding. The desert is flooding. They've even got a hole as big as a house that these floods and torrents of water because it, 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 it looks like rivers in the desert. And this hole that reminded me of the the abyss, no matter how much water went in it, it would not fill up. They're talking about this abnormal weather. They're talking about, um, they even, they're getting locusts. If we were scattered all over the world and God is judging the nations, then these events are going to go on all over the world because time is up. The spiritual atmosphere is shifting. Okay, and the reason I believe I keep seeing 12, 12, 12, 12, first of all, 12, 12 is a floodgate coming at me. Um, the 12 tribes, the 12 tribes, the 12 apostles. Okay, that 12, 12 is nobody. I'm showing it to you. I'm waking you up. I want you to see it. Time's up. Time's up. Okay, time is up. That spiritual atmosphere is shifting. It's shifting. And here's the thing. You got to remember, no matter what the devil does for our bad, God will turn it around for our good. People are running around here trying to act like they don't understand why we don't want that vaccine for this so-called COVID. Okay. We're supposed to get over it. I listened to some video and I had to cut it off when Dr. Fauci said, we need to let it go. We need to get over it. The fact that they used us as lab rats with intent to destroy, okay? It's stronger than the Tuskegee experiment, all right? 
They've got people where they were doing eugenics. They and I'm talking up to current. In order to let many of these inmates out of prison, they had to agree to sterilization in order to get a year, 18 months off of their sentence. You look up some of the females in the California prisons, they have sterilized these women in order to cut their time. That's eugenics, okay? When it came to this opioid crisis, which they aren't even reporting, many of the doctors would not give us strong medicines because they had been trained to believe we were we had a tendency towards drug abuse. When in fact, it's their own people who are uh, into those type of drugs. OK, but what the devil meant for our bad guy turns it around. He turns it around. I'm vibrating real high. I'm vibrating on the truth, brothers and sisters. You need to recognize who you are because this system is crumbly. He's showing you everything that was held so high. He's destroying it before your very eyes. Okay? And the spiritual, the spirit of God, the spirit of truth, has come in. Yes, you got to vibrate high, but one of the strongest and highest vibrations you could ever run with is the truth. God says you fight for the truth to the death and I will fight for you. I will fight with you. Well, the truth is our captivity is over and we're getting ready to go home. We're getting ready to go home. But you got to remember, just like in the first Egypt, Israel was there. Israel witnessed it. Israel wasn't gone. Israel witnessed it. A lot of people are like, well, when is it going to happen? Remember, you got to witness it. You have to witness it, okay? In the book of Jasher, it says Moses went in the first time, told Pharaoh, God said, let my people go. And Pharaoh refused, looked at him with scorn. Moses left, and it was a two-year period before Moses went back, okay? And in that time frame, he actually, Pharaoh, tried to make the Israelites burden harder, harsher. He wanted them to make brick without straw, okay? But it wasn't over. It wasn't over. Everybody keeps talking about, oh, I can't wait to 2020. 2020's over. No, 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 no. Business as usual? Do you want business as usual? Locking up brothers and sisters just because you can, giving them unjust sentences, kneeling on the neck of a black man and murdering him in front of the whole world. Do you want things to go back to usual? Disrespecting a woman in her own home, standing nude, 10 males, over 10, I cannot call a man, I don't care what color, I don't do, and this is a black woman, what kind of man that's a man could not cover that woman up? The vibrations, the spirit of truth, the order. God is flooding the earth. He is washing away. Yeah, okay, you stole, you took. You know what? I'm going to come in your house and just wash it away. He's leveling out the hills and the valleys. I've looked in the Middle East. When those floods come, it is carrying so much sediment. Hills and valleys are filling up when the water's cleared. The, the, the ground is five and six feet higher. I'm talking solid ground because the sediment that the water carried changed the ground level. But didn't he say he was going to do that? Preparing a way for us to come home? Right now, if you go online and look at Saudi Arabia, there's rivers in the middle of the desert. They're talking about this is abnormal and locust, locust. It's going on worldwide. Well, you got to understand how we were scattered, brothers and sisters. I'm not going to stay on here much longer. There is a new age and you've got to raise your beliefs Fear can't do nothing with faith, and we are children of the Most High God. One of the other things that the Spirit put on me, and I heard somebody confirm it, and I wasn't even talking to them. I was thinking it, and then they said it. We as a people 
are going to have to put our weapons and our arguments and our disagreements down with one another and come together and come together. That's that spiritual awakening to that strength, that power that's in the atmosphere because Israel is rising. It's not going to stop. That's why they're shutting this system down. They don't want us together. But even that, God's what the devil means for our bad, God is using for our good. It gives us time to be reflective, to look inward, to find that part of us that's us, to break away from what they call the matrix, from all it is rhetoric, from all distractions that this world floodgates us with. Do this, do that. You, it's this, it's that. Yeah, the whole world was sitting at home. You had them all isolated and the whole world watched the murder, the entire world. And it's like, you can't lie anymore. You can't make us look at you as some distinguished being. Or, or a nation of people. I'm just dealing pure truth. You put a man in the White House that should have never been there, but he is the spirit. The 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 he's incarnate of every attitude that Israel has dealt with in this country. Doesn't care about you. It doesn't matter if you're old, young, you be a child. Doesn't matter. In truth. They, it, that's not dealing with truth. But see, love, God, truth, Elohim, even the planet signs and wonders have come to let you know the spiritual realm has breached and come in close. You're children of the spirit. You're children of God. And that power, that manifesting, I'm manifesting, we're leaving. The enemy will never gain power again. And everything they do, I don't care what it is. God's going to turn it around and use it for our good. And for those who, I don't know, go out there and get the vaccine and uh, feel like they have no choice and they're terrified, let me say this. God said, if you drink any poison or get bit by any poisonous snake, it shall not harm you thee. Okay. It shall not harm thee. I don't want it. I don't trust anybody that tried to destroy me or my people. But to give you some peace, you make that thing line up and speak over it. As a matter of fact, I think there's more chaos coming and it's not coming by way of man. It's coming by God. God's a God of recompense. God's a God of order. This situation is so out of order that the evil has reached God. Okay. The first and the greatest insult was to the Most High. All of these nations looting and plundering. Times up. Times up. So you be encouraged, brothers and sisters. You be encouraged. One of the things when we go home, one of the other things, we are also going to experience the Feast of Booths, the Feast of Booths. Many of these false uh, holidays, they have nothing to do with us. We know that uh, December 25th is not Yeshua HaMashiach's birthday. Actually, it's this no God, this so-called sun God named Mithras that they put together and, and decided the Roman Catholic Church determined that December 25th was going to be the day that they celebrated Christmas. A lot of black people look at other blacks or Israelites and say, why are you doing it? Because when we got here, we didn't have any choice. We couldn't keep our own customs going. It's the same way when it comes to Sunday. Um, Sunday again. Constantine, he made the decision at the Council of Nicaea to make Sunday the day of worship, that people could not work, they could not do anything. Dishonoring the Most High God. Well, the spiritual alignment has kicked in, and God's a restorer. Even the planets are here to usher in restoration, restructure, because the, the order has turned chaotic. They want to give you a feast of fear, but God is feeding a feast of faith. There's a feast of faith coming. 
Okay, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, brothers and sisters. Right now, you can speak it, think it, and boom, it just comes. Let me tell you something else. When you're sitting around your cell phone, might even be near your TV, you're just talking, and all of a sudden, um, especially if you're online, all of a sudden you start noticing, wow, I know I didn't Google that, I didn't search that, and yet everything I'm talking about, it keeps coming up. On my computer, on my cell phone. Why? Because they listen. But let me tell you this before you get concerned about that. There is an eye that never sleeps. There is an ear that hears everything. Again, it's showing you. If man can do that, what do you think God is doing? They're taking crafty counsel against his hidden ones, but it's okay. God's laughing them to scorn. Y'all is laughing them to scorn. And you are supposed to be encouraged. He's giving you signs in the sky. Signs in the sky. Your redemption is near. And because there was no man, no nation, all of these apologizing people, they even played a tape with Gaddafi apologizing for the Arab slave, excuse me, slave trade. The Arab slave trade, because they was doing that thing all the way up into the 80s. Okay, 1980s, not 1880s. Okay, nobody was going to help us. Now all of a sudden, well, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're going to have to speak to God. See, God will not be mocked. He will not be mocked. We're supposed to just sit back and say, okay, thank you, and go back to business as usual? Mm -mm. And see, here's the beauty of the thing. It's not like we're going to stick around either. So now it's like, well, they said 400 years. We're going to keep everybody in the house. You can't go. And one person, well, you can get martial law. Let me tell you something. When our father come and get us, according to his word, he said not one of us is going to be left behind. I don't think you have to worry about martial law or lockdown or social distancing or anything when it's time to and even the stars are telling the story. 397 years, give or take a year. 400 years since this has happened. 800 years since that thing shone in the sky at night. Doubling down to show you. It's a reversal. It's a reorder. It's a restructuring. It's a restoration. A spiritual one. Vibrating high. And the children of the light, the spirit of the most high is with you. Be encouraged. Shalom.